This little piece of plastic can either give you so much hell or it can give you free stuff. It's all about how you use this piece of plastic and how you don't let this piece of plastic rule you. You can use this as a wealth building tool and run the play that I run and how I got free stuff with my credit card. I've used my credit card to get free stuff like my iPhone and my new MacBook laptop all by using this piece of plastic. And yes, I got both items for free and so much more I've gotten for free. I've been doing this for eight years. Hi, my name is Bree, and I help teachers master their money by creating wealth and financial freedom so they no longer have to live paycheck to paycheck. If you're a teacher looking for ways to make more money, I highly recommend grabbing my Millionaire Teacher Money Plan where I share my step-by-step -step budget system that allowed me to create 12 streams of income all while teaching full-time and creating streams of income through cryptocurrency, two real estate properties, and making so many different types of investments as well. That is all in my Teacher Millionaire Money Plan, so be sure to grab that. That will be linked down below for you. Now, before we dive into how I personally use my credit card to get free stuff and use this piece of plastic for wealth building purposes, I do want to explain that running this play is one of many ways to run credit card plays. Now you are an infinite being. So that means that there are infinite number of ways to build wealth and to use credit cards and to create financial freedom for you and your family. And I encourage you to try this on, try it out, learn about it, see if it vibes with you and run the play if you like it. This is just what I do and it works great for me. I've been doing it for eight years and I have a really nice credit score as well. So you can have both. You can have a really awesome credit score and get free stuff with your credit card. Now, just a disclaimer, no, I'm not telling you to do this. You make your own decisions as an adult. You know, you're doing your research and you're discerning information for yourself. This is just one of many ways. So let's dive into the video. So the first way I use my credit card to create wealth is by using this credit card. Yes, it's a credit card. I use it the same as I use cash. So let me explain that. I do not over leverage my credit line because yeah, the bank's gonna give me 10K of a credit line. If I don't have 10K in my checking account, I'm not gonna be using 10K on my credit card. If what I want to purchase with my credit card does not fit into my monthly expenses with what I know is in my budget because I'm the master of my money, I know exactly where everything goes, then I don't use my credit card or I don't buy the item. <laughs> I treat this the same exact way as I treat cash. And that reminds me, when I was growing up, my parents never used credit cards and they still don't use credit cards to this day. And it's all part of their strategy, whatever. But I never wanna be like afraid of using something. Like this piece of plastic is not in control of me. I'm in control of this piece of plastic. So yes, it's a credit card, but I still use it as cash. It's the same exact thing to me because going on to my second way, the second way I utilize my credit card to create wealth for me and my family and getting free stuff on top of that is I use my credit card to buy pretty much everything. And again, I treat it like cash, but it's all part of my budget. Now I utilize my credit card for the points. This is not the actual credit card I use for the points actually. Um, this is a Navy Fed card. I keep, you know, waving it everywhere. This is actually me and my husband's business credit card. The credit card I do use has a pretty good point like reward system. And what that means is every dollar I spend, I believe I get 1.5% cash back. Now there are credit cards that probably have a lot more, but I've been using the same credit card for eight years. And again, I have really good credit. I have bought in two houses and a car. <laughs> like I am completely in control. But what I do is I pay for everything with my credit card. Again, I use it as cash. So what that means is I buy gas with this, I buy groceries, when I go to Marshalls, I use this, my Amazon, I use my credit card. Every single thing I pay for, I do not use debits, I rarely use my debit card. I use my credit card for everything for the cash back points. 
And those points is how I get the free stuff. I use those points to get me the phone or the laptop, or even when we were in the transitioning of moving here to Vegas, I did not have a job or an income for three months about because you know the transition and moving and i just used the credit card points the cash back rewards points to pay off my credit card in full so you can use these cash back rewards as actual cash or to buy stuff which still is like cash now every single time i get paid so i pay everything with my credit card every single time i get paid i pay off my credit card in full so that's how I use it as cash. So I get paid two times a month here in beautiful Las Vegas. I'm so freaking grateful because when I taught in California, I would only get paid once a month. <laughs> it's such a different vibe. I'm sorry. Like I love getting paid twice a month and getting paid twice a month, right? Money comes in. I pay off my credit card every single time. It's like clockwork. Like a habit. It's a routine. It's a way of being. It's a way of vibing. When I pay off my balance, every two weeks full complete zero i get those cash back points it's so funny because i could technically say like me using that strategy as a stream of income because i'm gaining free money from doing this so cool 13th stream of income i guess and i really love to let these points add up over time and i use them when the time's right so i just purchased a laptop computer with my points and actually with my business account as well so i have like a business that i run the same play on essentially um but actually it's a little different with my business i utilize debt and i leverage debt very differently than i do with my personal finances but one thing is for sure I have zero credit card debt and I refuse to ever have credit card debt unless like I absolutely had to utilize that debt and leverage that. I have a whole video coming out down the line about debt and how I don't think debt is a bad thing necessarily. Like I think it's a tool to use, it's not a bad thing. So like I mentioned before, the number one way on how I utilize my credit card to get free stuff is by paying everything with it, all my monthly bills. I pay it off every time I get paid. I let the points rack up and then I exchange the points for cash or even through my app. I use Chase personally for my bank right now. There is a section on Chase that says like shop with Apple. So I shopped with Apple and I got this beautiful new iPhone laptop, used cash for it one of the other times to pay off my credit card um, because I didn't have that huge chunk of income through teaching like I usually do when I was transitioning. So yeah, that is how I leverage my credit card and create wealth for me and my family. It's such a play and I've been doing it for so freaking long. Bonus, if you wanna learn my husband's play, we run totally different plays with our credit card usage. Um, he has a score of over 800 with his credit card play and he does it very differently than me. I don't have an 800, but I have very high 700s. But if you are interested in learning about my husband's play and how he utilizes credit cards, leave that down below in the comments or like this video so I know and I can get him on the channel and get him on the podcast and I can pick his brain a little bit and figure out his strategy. But like I said before, there are infinite ways and infinite possibilities on how you can build wealth for you and your family. You are so smart. You are so infinite that it's all a creative playground. Let me know what you think about this credit card play. Have you been doing this? Have you known about credit card points? And this just reminds me because it pops into my head. When I taught my brother this strategy, he continued to pay for things with debit. And I'm like, why are you paying for things with debit when you have credit and you could just pay it off and get free money? Like, it's just changing up some habits changing up some lifestyle but getting that free money a eh? all right thank you so much for watching please be sure to give this video a like if you found it helpful share it to anyone else who might find this information helpful and be sure to check out my other wealth building tips so you can stop being a broke af teacher you can live an abundant lifestyle like i do 12 streams of income two investment properties crypto all of it and I will catch you my next video. And also follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I share daily inspiration on wealth building and tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on my next video. Bye.